Nothing compares to having an Eaton G80 locking differential under you, especially going uphill. The wheel rotates only about once, enough to tell the G80's locking differential that you need both wheels pushing to get moving. And away you go. Notice the rollers on the hill, simulating a slick surface. This two-wheel drive truck with an open differential tries to climb the hill, but the rear drive wheel with the least resistance starts spinning and the truck goes nowhere. How about the same model truck with a limited slip differential? Not much better. A similar vehicle with an open differential. Same story. Neither of these vehicles without a G80 made it up the hill. But our two-wheel drive truck with the Eaton G80 locking differential has no problem. It immediately senses a difference in wheel speed, quickly engages the locking mechanism, and easily drives up and over the hill. Now we try the same thing in four-wheel drive. First, a four-wheel drive vehicle equipped with a limited slip differential. Can you tell which wheels are receiving the power? The ones with the least resistance. This should dispel the myth that four-wheel drive vehicles even those with limited slip differentials can go anywhere. Whether you're in a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle, getting moving depends on the road surface. And if it's too slippery, the limited slip differential won't transfer enough power to the opposite wheels. Check out this vehicle, which has four-wheel drive, but doesn't have the G80. Lots of effort, little results. Now the truck with four-wheel drive and the G80 locker. Spin. Lock the rear axle and up the hill it goes, no problem.